If your client comes to see you with lashes like these after a few days, it means she's having lash retention problems. So what should you do? Uh, if you want to do a refill on this client, you want to make sure that her retention problems get fixed. So you want to make sure you really wash the client's lashes very, very, very well um, to remove any oil and debris. Then you also want to apply some primer to, unless the client's lashes are really brittle, but you really want to make sure to apply primer to ensure that the client, um, the client's lashes are uh, dehydrated and that the, the glue adheres very, very well. Now, the other thing that's really important is the surface area. So when you apply the fan, you have to make sure there's at least two to three millimeters of contact between the client's natural lash and the actual fan that you're applying. That is extremely important. Now, the next thing that you really want to make sure is that you have a um, you have a hygrometer in your room because you want to monitor the temperature of your lash space because if your um, humidity is too high your glue might be drying too fast and um, by the time you apply the extension on the client's natural lashes the glue has already had time to dry and basically um, as soon as the client leaves your lash space the extensions pop off because they didn't really uh, cure properly and they didn't get attached properly because the humidity was um, unacceptable for the room uh, or the temperature. The same thing could happen with the temperature as well. Um, the final piece of advice that you can that I can give you guys is to apply a super bonder at the end of your set. Once you're finished with your set, um, make sure that you apply a super bonder that will ensure that your retention improves by at least 20 to 30%. Hope that it was helpful.